And you know, Caltech scientists have been crunching those numbers, trying to figure out when another earthquake may strike. But they've also been looking at all that social media video that's been floating around for the last couple of days and asking that question, did folks do what they were supposed to? It may have felt like chaos. What to do when the ground started shaking? That's not a time to video. As some grabbed their phones, others hit the floor. But video after video, we saw this. <laughs> Running is the one thing you should never do. It's always, oh my gosh, what are these people doing? Have we not told them enough? Margaret Vinci is in charge of earthquake programs at Caltech. She says we have to resist the urge to flee. Running outside of a building, you're going to be hit by objects coming off of that building. If you are outside, do exactly what this woman did when her pool started splashing. Stop and drop or find an open field and curl up like a ball. But if you are downtown or near tall buildings, you're actually going to want to go inside. Downtown is very scary because if you look up, it's all glass. If you are in bed, stay there. If you're in your home, a doorway is no longer your best option. When you're standing in that doorway, things are going to hit you. You may not even be able to stand up that the energy is so strong in that room that it might throw you off your feet and then you get injured. Find an interior wall or table to crawl under. Is not holding on to yourself. It's holding on to whatever you're under because that table will walk away from you with the energy in that room. I think we got another earthquake. Friday night when the 7.1 magnitude quake hit, Dodger Stadium was full as was the Thomas and Mack Center for NBA Summer League games in Vegas and few knew what to do. If you're in a stadium, you're going to get underneath the seat, put your, put your head and your neck underneath that seat as much as possible. Pull the seat down because many of those seats flop back up. Vinci admits it's a lot of information in many scenarios, but if you practice, the next time the ground shakes, you won't hesitate. Oh my God. I know a lot of people did. Okay, if you are driving, it's going to feel like your tower tires are possibly going flat. You want to pull over, not under an overpass, not under a power line, and then you want to lay down flat across the front seats of your car, and again, Cover the back of your neck with your hands. The reason you weigh, lay down face down, you guys, is you want to protect your internal organs. So that's really important whether you're in the bed or you're in the car or wherever you may be. I'll send it back to you. Interesting. Didn't know Some that. Good